15k and then oh you're gonna be able to see it the whole time yay yeah there's a lot of stuff in here oh i sent you lots of letters didn't i do you love me hi i'm tess you've been what? served no. <laughs> hi i'm tess hi i'm kayla hi guys i'm tess and i'm kayla and today we have a special surprise for you a little snack bag but it's not it's little. pretty big what are we doing today opening this box <laughs> Yes, and that's it. The end. See ya. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. This box contains a bunch of personal letters and items from Tess and Tess's and my relationship. Mine and Tess's. Mine and Tess's relationship. I guess I don't know. A lot of you may know that Kayla and I used to be in a long distance relationship, so we wrote to each other a whole lot. Yes. And even since we've been living together, we've given each other little letters and stuff like that. So this box is full of all of that. And we thought we'd share some of that stuff with you. Um, we have to begin. Let's begin. Let's pick the first thing. What is this? This is, so this is, a, it looks like a really old ticket. Yeah. It looks like from like, I don't know, the 70s or something. It does look really but, old. But um, it is a boarding pass from Boston to Chicago. Tess and I met up in Boston right. one year. Did we make a video on that? Oh, yeah, we do. Up, right? Yeah, oh. that Boston vlog is still up. Yeah. yeah, this is really old. When we were first, babies. yeah, when we were babies, when we were getting into liking each other. <laughs> These guys are little seating things from our friend's wedding. They say our names on them. She hand wrote them and they're beautiful. Yeah, we thought they were really pretty and that was the first wedding we ever attended together. So yes. we wanted to keep those. And I got beef and Tess got chicken that night. <laughs> yeah, she stamped like what we were eating. And that was obviously before we were eating lots of fruits and veggies. Oh, this was for your birthday. Yeah, this is a ticket yoga at the museum, which was the Milwaukee Art Museum. Right. And we went there for my birthday and it was really awesome. And then they so great. awesome. Oh, it landed up right. Oh, this is a movie ticket oh, to Finding Dory. There's like no particular order to this at all. Yeah. This is old. Can like, this yeah. Because this is from when we were not dating. She writes, <laughs> whether this card is early on time or late, dot, 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 happy early slash belated slash on time birthday, old lady. I hope your day is special and awesome because you deserve it to be. Love, Kayla. Yeah, I don't think we're dating. No. <laughs> oh, I made that one. Yeah, Kayla used to make a lot of stuff. What? Oh, it's a Christmas card. Let me just show you the picture I made. This is because I love her more than the moon loves the stars and the sun loves the clouds. What is it? I love you more, more than the moon loves the stars, the sun loves the clouds. That like, was the original. We yeah. go on. And then, yeah, and then we said all these random things. We also say forever and a day to each other. Yeah, that's our thing. We were not dating. No. Oh boy. We were. <laughs> I cannot. Okay, this is from Kayla to me. I've been thinking a lot about you lately, but what else is new? I haven't been the one to contact you first or much, but you have to understand why. <laughs> we but weren't dating. No. <laughs> At least I hope you do. The thoughts of you when we were together, doing all that we did in New York and Chicago, they just came. I could be doing the most random thing and not even have any control over thinking about all the great times we had together. It's going to be like this for a long time, I can tell, unless someone else is put in place of where you were in my heart. It's going to be hurt Never for a happens. while, and I don't foresee anyone filling that space anytime soon. Anyway, I hope all is going well for you and your new job. I know if you were my waitress, you'd get a big tip. <laughs> so weird. I texted you safe drive home and you told me you were going out downtown tonight. My mind went straight to, she has a date. Rolls eyes. It sure will be difficult to attempt to have you as a friend in my life, but we have to start somewhere, eh? The struggles of being in an LGBT relationship. <laughs> So this, I'm sure you can barely see it. Kayla drew this picture for me. It's so pretty. All right, guys. I found all of the stuff, the stuff, <laughs> that I sent Kayla. She like took it out of the box. I it was never in the box. It was never in the box. <laughs> Why? Just starting to write this has me tearing up. 
Although we often, if not every single time, cry when we leave one another, today was the absolute worst. I gave you a little insight into how bad my episode was once you left me at effing kiss and fly, but I never want to feel like that ever again. I'm so badly contemplating turning around, parking my car, and booking a one-way to Albany. <laughs> Do you know how many times we felt that in our relationship? Here's something cute from a letter. Eight days after my birthday, so 9-28-2015. First of all, I started with Charlie. Oops, I mean Kayla. Baby, hello. Do you know why you wrote Charlie? No, why? Because that's the girl's name in the book that we were writing. So you're we were writing a book about our relationship. No, no, we we lost it just like that banana. <laughs> so I think a lot of you can relate to this. I love the aura you put off. Thank you. It makes me light up. I can't really explain the feeling other than being overly happy just to see my baby happy. It gives me so much hope. It counteracts all the negativity long distance relationships can bring upon us. Hope to know that we will see, we will soon be together, but also hope to know that one day you and I both will be so completely happy with ourselves and each other and everything in general. Tess wrote this letter to me, but then she quoted something that I said, which seems cute. The wording you have in this last paragraph is an angelic and makes me want to tear up. What you do for me, Tessa, requires only the most precise and prestigious choice of wording. You make my heart soar. You make my soul brighten. You are God's gift to me, undoubtedly. I love you so, so dearly and always will. All I want is to make you happy as I know I do already but to also take away your pain, not to add to it. I cherish and adore you, Tess. I want to, I want and love everything about you, and I want all of you. You are mine, and I will hold you as long as you will have me. I'm counting on forever in a day, by the way. Cute. We're gonna charge the battery, we're gonna eat a little bit, and we'll come back. This is dated July 24th, 2015. So this actually has a lot to do with our blog post in finding that like nature makes you feel better. Yes. And so I made her go out and find a couple leaves and then mail them to me with the letter and I just thought it was so cute. She goes, attached is two leaves per your request. The one on the left represents you. I tried to find one very similar to the original uh, that shriveled and did a pretty damn good job. This leaf represents you because among others around it on the same branch, it was the most vibrant I saw. So full of life and so soft. <laughs> the stem isn't the most durable, but still strong enough to maintain itself, the leaf. This aspect of it represents your vulnerability in a good way, but also your strength. When I hold the leaf in my hand, I have the power to crush it and break it. That is why I hold it with such care. I want to continue to hold you with such care and love forever and a day, Angel. What the f I am a f poet. I love you so much. I love you so much. That's made this for me. <laughs> Isn't it so pretty? It's one of those adult coloring book sheets. Um, seriously though, where are all the letters that I wrote you? I feel like we didn't read any of them. There's one that you wrote there. Did you not keep my letters? I don't recall ever getting rid of them. Guys, she okay. didn't keep my letters. No, this is not just it. My dearest lovey pants. <laughs> Probably this one. Okay, this is our two year anniversary. <laughs> you make my world, such a happier place to be, my love. You are my light when I am in darkness. I know I am safe in your arms and I will continue to work to prove that I will find the strength to never hesitate to fall into them. You are a poet, jeez. <laughs> Sorry for the PDA guys, whoa. And as a result of all these letters, here is our love child. Hi baby boy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kayla. I love you. This is all about love, huh? 